हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे टॉपिक इज कोर लाइफ स्किल्स डब्ल्यू एच ओ के द्वारा हमें 10 लाइफ स्किल्स दी गई हैं डिसीजन मेकिंग प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग क्रिएटिव थिंकिंग क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग इफेक्टिव कम्युनिकेशन इंटरपर्सनल रिलेशनशिप स्किल्स सेल्फ अवेयरनेस एम्पैथिक स्किल्स कोपिंग विद इमोशन कोपिंग विद स्ट्रेस अब एक एक करके इनके बारे में जानेंगे इट इज द कैपेसिटी फॉर सेल्फ एनालाइज एंड द एबिलिटी टू रिकोगनाइज सेल्फ वन वन सेल्फ एज एन इंडिविजुअल सेपरेट फ्रॉम द एनवायरमेंटल एंड अदर इंडिविजुअल्स वाइल कॉन्शियसनेस इज ए टर्म गिवन टू बिकेन अवेयर ऑफ once environment and body and lifestyle self awareness is the recognition of awareness it is often a pre requisite to effective communication and interpersonal relations as well as for developing empathy with others next is empathy empathy is the capacity to understand or feel what another person is experiencing from within the other person frame of reference for example the capacity to face oneself in another's shoes to have a successful relationship with our loved ones and society at large we need to understand and care about other people's need desire and feelings empathy is the ability to imagine what life is like for another person without an empathy our communication with other will amount to one way traffic next is critical thinking critical thinking is ability to think clearly and relationally about what to do or what to believe it include the ability to engage in reflective and independent thinking someone with critical thinking skill is able to understand the logical connection between ideas critical thinking is the intellectual discipline process of actively actively and skillfully conceptualizing applying analyzing synthesizing and other evaluating information gathered from or generated by observation experiences reflection reasoning or communication as a guide to believe and action next is creative thinking it is skills used for different approach to critical thinking skills they involve a much more relaxed open playful approach this can require some risk taking creative thinking skill involve such approaches as looking for many possible awareness rather than one next is decision making it is regarded as the recognition uh, cognitive process resulting in the selection of belief or a course of action among several alternative possibilities every decision making process produce in produce a final choice that may or may not prompt action decision making is the process of identifying and choosing alternative based on the value of value and uh, preference of the decision maker it also help us to deal 
constructively with decision we take about our life next is problem solving problem solving consists of using genetic or ad hoc method in an orderly manner for finding solution to problem help us to deal constructively with problem in our lives significant problem that are left unsolved unresolved can cause mental stress and given rise to a complacing physical strain next is interpersonal relationship an interpersonal relationship is a strong deep or choose sorry close experience close associate between two or more people that may range in during from brief to enduring this association may be based on interface love regular business interaction or some other type of social commitments next is effective communication effective communication is also a two way process it is not only how you convey a message so that it is received and understand by the listener it means that we are able to express ourselves both verbally and non verbally in way they are appropriate to our culture and situation this means begin able to express opinion and desire and also needs and fears and it may means being able to ask for advice and help in time of need next is coping with stress coping with stress means recognizing the resources of stress in our lives recognizing how this affect us and acting in way that help us control our level of stress by changing our environment or lifestyle and learning how to relax next is coping with emotion coping with emotion means involving recognizing emotion with in us and others being aware of our emo uh, how emotion influence behavior and being able to respond to emotion appropriately intense emotions like anger or sadness can have negative effects on our health if we do not respond appropriately thank you